All right, so I gotta ask, what is with people and lore? Earlier today, I saw a discussion about the latest Star Wars movies, and I think I've made my position clear enough on this. I think most of the criticism surrounding these movies is bad, but if you don't like them for legitimate reasons, ah, uh, fine. The person said, what did the sequel trilogy add to the universe? Because the prequels were really great because they added a explanation for the Old Republic fell, they told you more about the Jedi Order, they told you more about the Sith, and they just added so much to the universe. And my only response was to say, well, the sequel trilogy added a good story. I think a lot of the times major fans of something tend to... It's almost like a, I'm a bigger fan than you because I can remember more about this universe sort of thing. But they tend to lose sight of the fact that ultimately the only reason lore exists in a world is to inform the story. So if there's a good story you can tell that somewhat breaks the lore of the universe, you tell that story. Contained within discrete boundaries by an outer covering of silicates, actinides, and carbonaceous chondrites. Explains why our beards didn't grow. I would much rather that happen than doing the opposite, where you hide behind the it makes sense in the lore, so I don't have to tell a necessarily engaging story which is one of the problems World of Warcraft has been having for years. Oh, it makes perfect sense that Sylvanas can beat the Lich King? Wow, I wish they had told that story. Like, the Star Wars fandom is the worst about this. You can watch somebody review all the episodes of, uh, say, Star Wars The Clone Wars. If you can stomach it, uh, I think Jesse Cox has, like, a series where he reviews all the episodes of Star Wars The Clone Wars. And it's all fine, I guess, but the people in it never really break down the storytelling elements of it. They all just talk about the lore and what this implies about the universe. Whereas you can watch someone else like uh, SF Debris, who, if you haven't seen this guy, you should totally be watching him instead of me, break down the same episodes, but he'll go into the emotional context behind the characters, uh, the subtext of the film, the background of the filming and the, you know, that kind of thing. Things that actually matter to the storytelling. I don't know, I'm just sort of frustrated with this sort of thing and feel I need to get my opinion on this stuff out there. I don't care if this follows the lore, if it's a good story. And if it's a bad story, I don't care if it follows the lore. Oh my god, who the hell cares?